What is going on everybody, it is your boy Nothing But Skills, and today we're talking about Division 2 Endgame, and I feel that Division 2 shines the most once you guys get to Endgame. Now this video is sponsored by Ubisoft, so I want to give a big shout out to them for sending me a copy of the Ultimate PC Edition for me to bring you guys this beautiful content. Now let's get into the video. So Division 2 Endgame, I believe that's where the fun starts. Yes, the campaign 1-30 through 30 was a lot of fun finding out what the storyline was, completing the storyline. But once you get into Endgame, there's just so much more for you to do. And then that's when the real grind begins because all your brand sets actually matter, right? Because the gear you start getting, you want to start collecting, you want to start saving some of those pieces because they might have good talents on them. And then at the end, you want to get to World Tier 4, right? Because that is the highest World Tier at the moment. But right when you get into Endgame, that's right when the fun starts because you get to select your specialization and then you have the option of selecting a Demolitionist, a Survivalist, and Sharpshooter. Now the good thing is, remember, if you do select one and decide you want to switch to a different specialization, you can always do that later on. The specialization I went with was Survivalist because I do want the extra 15% assault rifle damage and I do like using the crossbow. Now there's no greater feeling than getting the crossbow and sticking one of your enemies and just watching them explode. Now tell me there's not something about that that is not really cool. But now don't think that you can just use your specialization weapon as much as you want. You have to get ammo for that specialization weapon. Now my specialization weapon has a higher chance of dropping when I kill an enemy with a status effect. Now it's different for the demolitionist and the sharpshooter. Now once you get into endgame that is where the map changes a lot. Now before you go into endgame, you probably have a lot of green and then once you go into endgame, you're going to notice that the Black Tusk have taken over your map and all the enemy factions have started fighting back and there's a lot of red, there's a lot of red everywhere. Now what's really cool about the endgame is those enemy factions will continue to fight back and they'll continue to try to take over checkpoints that you have control over because their goal in endgame is to try to take over the map like they have the map taken over right here. I just recently got into endgame so I'm world tier 1 I think my gear score is around 299 now and I've started working on the invading missions if you notice on my map I have a bunch of missions invading missions that have been completed and then I have a few that haven't now once you complete enough invaded missions you will start to unlock the stronghold each stronghold in world tier one is linked to maybe two three or four invaded missions that you have to complete those invaded missions so you can unlock those strongholds in world tier one now once you complete all the strongholds in world tier one that's when you'll have access to tidal basin and now once you complete that that's when you'll be pushed to the next world tier so as of right now there are four world tiers so that is a lot of grinding for you guys to do and let's not even talk about grinding for gear grinding for the world tiers or even grinding for weapons let's just talk about how you can catch yourself just exploring the map there's just so much to explore that i catch myself a lot just running around looking for stuff looking for buildings that maybe i can get into looking for different things that I haven't seen. Just like this part right here on the map, there's nothing out here. There was a cell phone. I think there was one loot crate when I got into a garage. But besides that, there was nothing really out here. I came out here just to see, just, just to see what this part of the map has. And I'm glad I did, because I got to see something that was visually impressive. And if you guys have this on PC, I think you guys are with me, right? The game looks amazing, and I'm glad that I'm playing it not only on PC but on console because I can see the big differences between the two. But on PC, graphically, this is an impressive beast, and I'm very impressed with what Ubisoft has done with the Division 2. If we switch from exploring to missions, invading missions in Endgame are a whole nother beast, right? The invading missions are a lot harder. Once you push up the difficulty, they get pretty hard, but these missions are a lot of fun. I'm actually enjoying all of the invaded missions, and the funny thing is, I love PvP, and I haven't even PvP'd once in The Division 2 since launch, right? I've been working on completing this campaign, I've been working on Easter eggs for The Division 2, there's just a lot of things I've been doing that I'm enjoying without even having the PvP. And this obviously all started in Endgame because that's when I could actually focus on those other things. Another cool thing you can actually start working on at Endgame are getting masks and those hunters are really tough to fight. You're gonna have a lot of fun fighting them they move like players, they have a skill set that's way better than what you have and a lot of times you just gotta play really smart when you're fighting these hunters. 
because they will flank you they will throw their skills at you and they will drop you really quick and that's what I enjoy like this is stuff that you can do at endgame because if you try to fight a hunter before level 30 they're already at level 35 so they're gonna hit you really hard and they can one shot you a lot of the times and that's before end game but at end game you get your specialization you get your gear you get that gear score so once you start leveling that up it's a lot easier to fight these hunters now even though I say they're a lot easier to fight these hunters they're still really difficult and that's what's challenging about them and if you haven't had a chance to fight a hunter 1v1 I suggest going out there by yourself trying to fight a hunter 1v1 and just seeing how fun they are to fight they are so much fun to fight they like to flank you you have to keep moving you have to go from cover to cover sometimes you have to back away because you just don't have enough firepower they will heal they'll hit you with their hardest skills and that's what's just so much fun about fighting these guys but overall the division 2 has been very impressive and I haven't even jumped into PvP so I'm trying to wait till I get to world tier 4 I get some good gear set and then I can go do a little bit more PvP but remember there's a lot of different ways that you can PvP if you decide that you guys want to jump into it a little bit early so there are three dark zones in the division 2 now all three dark zones are normalized but at any given time one of those dark zones can be occupied and what that means is it's no longer normalized so however you have your brand set set up however you have your DPS set up that's the amount of damage you do so the amount of damage you do in PvE is the amount of damage you do in the occupied zone and then not only do we have the DZ but we have what's called conflict which is domination and skirmish this is 4v4 and this is a more controlled PvP environment you don't have to worry about NPCs coming out there this is 4v4 player versus player domination skirmish that is another way for you guys to PvP if you guys are thinking about trying it out let me know what you guys think about the division 2 endgame are you guys having a lot of fun playing it have you guys even made it to endgame use the comment section let's start talking about it a little bit let me know what your favorite thing is about the division 2 and i'll let you guys know what my favorite thing is when i reply back to you i just want to say thank you guys again for supporting my channel big shout out to ubisoft for sponsoring this video without them sending me an ultimate pc edition i don't know if i would have been able to bring you this amazing content so thank you to them and as always guys if you guys found this video useful smash a thumbs up and if you haven't bought the division and you want to know more about the division i'm going to put a link in the description box it'll take you straight to the division 2 website and then that way you can find out more details about it maybe what edition you guys want to purchase anything you want to know about the division 2 will be at that website and remember, if you don't see me in conflict, if you don't see me in a dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out.